These are four features I believe are important in every mobile application and I will show you how to implement them in Flutter. For first time users, it would be nice to provide a warm welcome with some information about your application before they start using it. The logic is simple. We need to be able to figure out the first time a user uses your application and if that is the case, we give them some welcome information. We need some kind of way to recognize a new user. We do this using the shared preferences package for Dart. With shared preferences, we can keep some persistent information on the device. After importing the shared preferences package, we get an instance of it and we check if some value exists. Say this value is a boolean that is named new user. If this value exists, meaning it is not null, we know that we have seen the user before. Else, this is a new user and for new users, we want to give them some sort of onboarding experience. This is quite simple. Most onboarding experiences usually contain a carousel with several pictures and background colors. We can use a page view widget. Create each page as a child of the page view. Add a next button, maybe a skip button, and maybe carousel indicators, and we're done. Themes are totally subjective. Some people like light mode. As much as I love dark mode in most of my applications, I prefer light mode in some cases. With a dynamic theme package, we can easily achieve seamless theme switching. Add the dynamic theme package to your popspec.yaml file, then import the package into your main.dart file. Next thing we will do is set up our themes. Let's create a new dart file and name it constants. And this file would hold all the themes we want. We would name them light mode and dark mode. It is time to figure out how to change themes. We would need some way to save the theme that the user selected. We would use the shared preferences package to save persistent data on the user's device. Again, we add the shared preferences package to the popspec.yaml file and then import the package to the main.dart file. In our main.dart file, we create a function, create a theme data variable and a future function. I will call it get default. This essentially gets the default theme every time the application starts. It gets an instance of persistent data and checks the name of the key, dynamic theme. If it says light mode, we set our theme data variable to the light mode theme from the constants class we created earlier. And if it says otherwise, we set it to the dark mode theme. From the main the dart file, we then return a future builder that calls the get default variable. And in the builder parameter, we return the dynamic theme widget. We set the default brightness to our theme data variable's brightness and for the data parameter, we return the theme data variable. To switch themes from anywhere in your application, we create a function that we would use to set the persistent data and all what this function would do is get an instance of the shared preferences class and then set the dynamic theme key to either dark mode or light mode. After this, you can call this function anywhere to specify if you want the persistent data to be set to light mode or dark mode. This is all you need to do to get dynamic theme changing. If you do not understand anything I said here, do not worry because I will leave all the code in the description below. The next feature is a splash screen. A lot of top applications show their logo and name when you launch the application. This is called the splash or launch screen. Splash screens are easy to create and as suggested by Flutter, they are created specifically for each platform. For Android, we navigate to the Android forward slash app forward slash source forward slash main forward slash res file. And you would want to import your transparent background image here. Now, after importing the file, we navigate to the launch underscore background.xml file and we uncomment the code in the items tag. Here, you want to specify the name of your image. As for me, I'll set it to drawable forward slash my logo. To change the background color, we go to the above item tag and where we see color, we can pick any color we want. You could do way more with splash screens and I will leave a link below if you would like to read more. Now, sadly, I do not have any Apple product, so I cannot show you how to implement it on iOS, but it is equally as easy as you've seen for Android. I will leave a link in the description if you want to learn how to implement it for iOS. The last feature that I feel is rarely talked about is platform specific UI. Platform specific UIs give users the feel they expect. You do not want to give an iOS user the back button of an Android phone. 
Sadly, Flutter does not automatically handle this for you. In a lot of cases, to get two different functionalities, you would have to write out the logic. To do this, all we have to check is what platform the application is currently running on. And depending on what platform the application is running on, we can set the icons we want to use. To make this cleaner, you can always check the platform running as the application starts and depending on what platform is running, you load a specific class of icons or whatever you need. The other alternative to this would be to use the Flutter platform widget that you can find on the pub.dev website. With this package, you can implement platform specific UI by using widgets like platform button, platform text fields and loads more other widgets. This package automatically does the job for you. The honorable mention to this list goes to the persistent bottom navigation for every page route, which I already made a video about. And the last one is animations. I believe animations deserve their own video, so I would not be explaining it here. If you have any other cool features that you think I missed out on, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you would like to see more videos like this, do not forget to leave a comment below like the video, share, and please subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone.